Hi guys, welcome to my first challenge of the week. First of all, I would like to announce the winners from this week's challenges. Um, so Craig R Williams is one kilometer run. The winner for that was Aaron Reed. Well done. Colin had a two-part challenge. Um, so Aidan Moody won the skill element of the challenge and Cameron Gross won the um, question. Um, my winner was Victoria McGinnity, well done, with 17 of the figure of eight. And Craig Smith's winner was Ben Scott, well done. Um, the overall winner for the week, I'm going to have to give to Ben Scott for his attempts at all the exercises once again. Well done, Ben. Um, so obviously, we're now getting to a stage where tennis might be getting back on the card soon. Um, so we're going to shift gears a little bit and move things into getting you prepared for getting back hitting tennis balls. So um, we're going to do a little fitness video today. And then during the week, the coaches and myself will set more physical and technical tennis challenges to try and improve your fitness and improve your tennis game. Um, so the first uh, exercise we're going to do, I'll just see how it's laid out. You need two markers. I'm using my daughter's um, tennis racket covers, nice pink ones. Um, you need a skipping rope or a tennis ball, which I'll explain later, and a racket. So what we're gonna do, you do 50 skips. So if you can skip, you get your skipping rope and you just do 50 normal skips. You do 50 normal skips. Now, if you haven't, if you haven't got a skipping rope, you can use a tennis ball and do toe taps. So I'll place this here where you can see it. And it's just toe taps on the board. And once again, you do 50 of those. So it's 50 repetitions of either the skipping or the ball, top, ball taps. And then you go into 20 figure of eights, shadowing the shot, forehand and backhand, um, as you go out of the marker. So again, I'll show you here. So you start on the outside, go out to the forehand, shadow the forehand on the outside, crossing over, split stepping in the middle, you go out the back, then you shadow the backhand, move around the front, always split stepping, always split stepping in the middle. If you want to add a bit more technical to it, you're going to try and load up on the outside leg, whether that's backhand or whether that's forehand side and try and transfer your weight through as you hit the ball. So you will load up as you hit your shot, transfer your body weight through, and then start the recovery. When you've done 10 widths of the, uh, 10 figure of eights, you, uh, what did I say 20? <laughs> 20 figure of eights, you then go back and you do another 50 skips. Now, that is round one. Round two, you increase the distance of the figure of eight. So, so initially initially it's a two meter distance from the markers you then double it and you go to four meters if you can if not and you've only got that two meter space that's fine you just double the rep so instead of doing 20 for this one you would do 40 okay so again once you've moved that out you can take as much rest as you want in between so that you can try and do the exercises as good as you can. It's 50 skips or 50 ball taps into 20 figure of eights with the bigger, um, bigger distance. That's round two. Round three, you increase the distance again up to six meters, which is the width of a tennis court. And again, it's 10 rep uh, 20 repetitions, sorry, of the figure of eights. Okay, 50 reps on the skipping. 20 figure of eights, followed by 50 repetitions of skipping. That's round three. If you've had enough by then, that's okay. If not, you can do it all over again. And you can repeat as many times as you want. Okay. Good luck. Let's see some of those videos flying in. And uh, let's see how it goes. Bye.